Hey there, you gorgeous lot. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Laura and I am the founder and owner of That's So Laura UK and we are a handmade hair accessories and jewelry business. We also dabble in a little bit of slow fashion from now and then. Uh, if you are looking for some awesome behind the scenes content, some market trade-in, some sneak peek on products, a day in the life of, a little bit of realism because the majority of the time I do not wear makeup, um, it is really awesome to have you here. Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you love what you see and I can't wait to speak to you soon. It's 10.01am and it's Thursday and I am in the studio and I'm really excited because I've got lots going on this week. I am growing a second head, of course, right before a major event. Um, any, anybody who's got any... Uh, Help, help or advice they can give on horrendous spots that come up days before big events, um, please let me know. Um, drop it in the comments below. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've got a lot going on this weekend. I have got Good Market XL, which is in Liverpool. It's gonna be one of the biggest market events of the year, which I'm really, really excited. Um, they've sold a ton of tickets um, and it is free, so you can just walk in as well. So I'm really, really excited about that. But I have got lots um, still to make and I have got the rest of today and tomorrow afternoon for like maybe a couple of hours so um let's get cracking this is one of the boards done um really pleased it looks great from the front um it's in its legs and i've managed to put it up um i've tried the tablecloth method for the back of it but it looked worse because even though the, the bottom bit it folded up really well it just draped down the front bit and it just didn't look good. It really actually looked worse than what it looks like now. Um, I might just leave it as it is and apologise profusely to the person who's behind me because to be quite honest, unless I have an actual fitted piece I think that fits that frame, it's not gonna make a difference. But the actual board itself is painted up really well. The screws are mostly coloured. I mean, there's holes in texture in the wood anyway, which I don't mind. Um, yeah, when the stock's on, it's gonna look great. And the other ones are just dry. Um, quarter past 12, no it's not, it's quarter past 7 in the morning, <laughs> it's early and we are on our way to the exhibition centre, my mom is with me, it's still pitch black outside um, so apologies for the actual stage of this video but um, can't wait to show you what's going on today. Setting up for this exhibition market was just the best feeling ever. I was so, so proud of how these boards looked when they were done, how professional and sort of shop-like they looked, which I was really pleased. And everybody loved the fact that you could shop up the display and then come and stand by the till point and queue and pay there, which made it so much easier instead of people having to reach over tables, which I really loved. Um, also, it was just dead eye-catching and really bold, so I was really, really pleased about that. Whilst we were there as well, we also decided that I was going to take a little trip around and speak to some other small businesses um, with some of their awesome setups and awesome products in time for the Christmas period. Um, these are a few people that I spoke to while I was there. I absolutely love everything about all of their businesses and I'm really, really excited to be supporting them as we go. Um, so make sure you stay tuned now and check out all of these fabulous small businesses. Hi, I'm Charlie from Bean Blooming. And I make uh, clay earrings, necklaces, um, hair things, <laughs> stickers, and then I've got my 
husband's art with me today as well. How long have you been in business for? Since May last year, 2022. Fabulous, and what made you start? Um, I just really needed a creative outlet and um, I tried clay in 2020 and nearly burnt my kitchen down. So I promptly stopped and then um, my nan bought me a pasta machine for Christmas, which I thought was really bizarre and random because like, I don't, I'm not a chef by any means. Um, and then I realized that I could use the pasta machine to condition clay. So it kind of, it's thanks to my nan and her pasta machine that I started my business. That's really cool. Um, and what is your spirit animal? <laughs> my spirit animal. Oh. The pressure is on. <laughs> I want to say Sid the Sloth from Ice Age. He's my spirit animal. Love it. Love it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jenny oh, and I run JD Illustrations. JD Illustrations is a gift and homeware brand that celebrates colour, music and all things feel good. My spirit animal. Oh. Uh, I want to say a penguin. <laughs> just don't know why. I just feel it just feels right. Um, hi, my name's Lex and I run Crown and Tartan which has been in business since 2018. And I am recycling old jewelry, old fabrics, old tinsel even, um, into new products that can be loved by anyone, any age, any race. Fabulous, and what would be your spirit animal? My spirit animal? <laughs> um, I always say an otter, because why is that? They, one like carrying rocks, as in I do crystals, and they like holding hands when they sleep, which I do with my cat, so. I'm Karina, I'm all about the leopard prints and I basically leopard print anything I can get my hands on. How long have you been in business for? I have been doing this since May this year, so I'm only new. Hi, I'm Kat from Kat Ceramics. Um, I just started last year, so it's all still very new and I make all handmade pottery both on the wheel and also hand built stuff too um, a lot of this side is the hand built stuff it's more organic and I like it and I've been experimenting a lot more with glazes recently um, but yeah so I sell online on my website and I've just started doing markets since this summer so it's all very new and very exciting but I'm really enjoying meeting other makers at these. brilliant really and what's your spirit animal my spirit animal. Yeah, your spirit animal. Ooh. <laughs> Puts people on the spot, this one. Mmm. Maybe an oil? An oil? Yeah. Barn oil? Yeah. Ooh, I like I'm it. a bit of a night oil. <laughs> yeah, don't blame me. Me too. Hello. My name is Ainoa. I'm from Spain originally, but I've been in Liverpool now seven years. I started the business about two and a half years ago. It's with two market. We do crystals, we do like witchy home decor, we've got mirrors, we've got prints, got many things uh, seasonal, some of them as well, like during Christmas, we do advent calendars, but mainly it's just crystals. We do crystal jewellery as well, I uh, absolutely love it. Uh, and yeah, it's just open for everyone. Lovely. And if you had to choose, what would be your spirit animal? A deer. A deer. Why is that? Because they just symbolise transformation and they're just able to adapt to absolutely everything. Hi, I'm Becky. Um, I'm the owner of Com House Studio. And I've been in business since September. However, I started up in lockdown, gave it up for three years and I've come back. I've made a comeback. So, yeah. And what do you specialise in? Like, what's your area of expertise? Uh, I specialise in, at the moment, printed goods. So, mostly prints and greetings cards. And I've got some calendars as well, but hopefully looking to expand next year. Amazing. Fabulous. And what is your spirit animal? My spirit animal is definitely a sea otter. Sea They're really cute. Um, yeah, just love them. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hello, I am Paula and I'm from The Chocolate Cellar and we make things all chocolatey and we're based in New Ferry. I've been in business for 18 years now. Wow, that's 
Good going. Lovely. And what is your spirit animal? Stag. Ooh, why a stag? I don't know. Every time <laughs> I close my eyes and someone says, imagine an animal, I envision this um, animal like coming through the woods with fairy lights and the horns and everything. So I, I don't love, know why. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Hi, my name's Polly and this is Carly <laughs> and we are Soul Studios. We've been in business for around 12 months or so. Um, what is it you specialise in? So we specialise in jewellery mostly and we pride ourselves on jewellery that is sustainably sourced. So things like these, we use crystals that are sourced in the UK, Ireland and Scotland. Um, and we also try and upcycle and use recycled silver clasps. Um, so we're always trying to keep Mother Earth in mind when we're creating our jewellery. And then we also do some prints as well. They're really nice. Thank you. And what would you say is your spirit animal? My spirit animal is a leopard, I would say, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I feel like mine always changes at the minute. I think it's an eagle. <laughs> what did you mean the business? Oh, general. <laughs> sure. I don't mind. Hello there, my name's Peter and we are the Culture Sock. We specialise in all your funky art socks. They range from Van Gogh to Gustav Klimt the Kiss. Um, and we specialise in funk. <laughs> the art of the sock. Love it, love it. And what would you say your spirit animal is? My spirit animal? <laughs> wow. Uh, I'd like to say, I'd like to say a lion. Or oh, maybe a, a docile house cat. <laughs> love it, love it. Hello, my name is Romante and I am an owner of Recap Jewel. And what is it you specialize in? Uh, I make jewelry from silver, copper and uh, brass. I recently started to uh, follow my first passion, uh, passion for wood. So I really enjoy making that. Amazing. And what's your spirit animal? I have no idea. <laughs> I've been catching everyone off guard with that question. It's fine. But, what but, to think about for the future? <laughs> but if really think of it, I would say owl if I choose yeah. to. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Hi, I'm Kathy. My business is Enchantsen. I've been doing this for two years now. Um, and my products are all sweet wax candles and crystal wax melts. And um, it's all vegan. <laughs> Amazing. And what would you say your spirit animal is? My spirit animal is definitely a seal. Fab. I love that. <laughs> it was super cool catching up with all those small businesses over the weekend on Saturday. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get around to everybody. I was really gutted about that. But I am planning on catching up with people over the next few weeks um, and featuring more small businesses if I can. Um, it's a amazing opportunity if you are looking for a really awesome um, gift for the festive season to definitely go check them out. I will include all of their information below um, in the notes section. But yeah, uh, what a whirlwind Saturday was. It was crazy busy. Um, it was just, it was the best ever. I had so much fun. Um, my setup looked really ace. There were some great small businesses there. It was just a, such a buzz of energy. It was so much fun. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned. Um, I'll be releasing loads of Christmas gift guides towards Christmas. Um, so yeah, stay tuned and i hope you had fun watching this don't forget if you haven't already to make sure you hit that subscribe button um click to follow don't forget to share with your friends and click the little like button below if you loved what you saw today otherwise have a fabulous week and see you next time